Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to today's show. We are joined by Billy Gianna Lutis uh, from Billy G Life Coaching. How are you doing? Doing good. Yeah, I'm excited. I know I'm happy to be here today. I see it in your eyes. We're doing it live, obviously, here on the radio as well as on Zoom today. For those who are saying, how do you know how excited he looks? I could see him live and in person. Uh, welcome back. Uh, give us a little bit of your background. Talk to us about what you do. And I know we have another great conversation in store. Yeah, what's going on, guys? I'm Billy Jan Lutis. I'm a life coach and a motivational speaker out of Boston, Massachusetts. But, you know, luckily, we're all around the globe right now. We're helping so many people truly achieve their goals for one, but bring connection to mind, body, and soul aspects. So whatever goal you bring to the table, we're helping you with creating strategies and we're making sure you get the result you're searching for. What type of strategies are you talking about here? Yeah, right. No, we got a couple ones today that I want to dive into, but where mindset's a big factor to the, the coaching we bring to the table. But sometimes one of the strategies that we need to do is bring things back to the foundations, truly make sure we're standing on some beliefs we can truly build on for that matter. Mm -hmm. Well, what yeah. in particular, I'm trying to see, you didn't send specific notes for today, did you? I did. I, yeah. I swore I saw them and I'm sorry, but they seem to have disappeared. I may have, maybe they're in my, I did see them this morning. Why can't I find them? So I'm just going to ask you this what's on fun. tap for today. Sorry, I can't. Uh, yeah, this is more, no, no, this, I appreciate that. This is way more fun because now we're just going to run with it. <laughs> so, I saw, I saw notes attached to it before, but you've disappeared in my system. That's so okay. I'm going to pull you up because ah, I, I, by accident hit the thing. Gotcha. Factory settings concept. Sorry. Yeah, there it is. This, Got it. Go. Okay. More impromptu is where it's at. I love Oof. it. But, um, no, factory settings, right? So there's this entire concept that we're putting a course together so people can just hop right in. They might not be able to do one-on-one -on -one sessions with me or go to a speaking event, but they have the tool right there. And one of the first areas of this course is what I want to bring today, which is this factory settings concept. And, and Jill, the first time I was with you on an interview, I mentioned it real briefly, but I knew it needed a lot more information. And this factory settings aspect is helping people truly get back to the beliefs that they're standing on, that they can then build on for the goals they're trying to achieve, for the self-improvement aspect, for connecting in your own way or, or whatever areas you're trying to grow or you improve on. And in that, you find out that there's a lot of limitations that we've been taking in from day one of our lives, where I always label out, and you'll find this in the course if anyone signs up for it, there's three need areas, no, I would say it's three need areas, but School, obviously, we know from day one of our lives, school is where we take in the most information. Mm -hmm. We're trying to learn. We want our kids to learn and grow and everything. Then you got society. Society plays a role in every single one of our lives. So we're all taking in information that's being put out there. And the last one is our experiences and how every single experience we've ever lived plays a role. But if it's true that every single day of our lives, we've been taking in information because we as human beings, we're gathering information daily. Uh, I forget the exact number of it, but the amount of thoughts that we have running through our mind on a daily basis is astronomical. Mm -hmm. So we're taking in all the information. So every experience someone listening to this has had, every moment someone has lived, every single person that we've come across, there is a chance that in each and every single one of those moments and experiences, we are taking in information, but we could be taking in limitations as well if we don't have the right perspective with that. But in the course, in this factory settings concept, I relate it to the school piece where if you think about it, school, truthfully, nowadays it's starting to change for kids, which is huge, but how school is set up is it reaches the masses as it did years ago in old factories. We yeah. all sit in rows, right? There's a teacher or in the old factory, there's a prompter or a manager overseeing the job. We all are, our days split up into increments like a lunch break, just as yeah. we do for our kids in elementary and in, the, in high school, whole nine yards. And you do this from elementary to college. But what that does to your mind and helping our clients grow their mind and their ability to move in the direction they want to do is that there are is actually in those school settings or those old factory settings, it could put a hindrance on your mind because you're being taught to be learn and be trained in a job that fits that type of setup. Yeah. And the beauty of where life has gotten to for every single one of us now is that the opportunity, the time, the resources are all at our fingertips. So the old way of settings, the old factory settings, 
might not play the best factor anymore. Obviously, like I said, school, that's not to knock school at all. I think that school does everything it can to reach the masses. So the setup works perfectly for that because you want to reach all the kids you can. However, when you get to a point where you're pursuing self-improvement, you might have to step out in a different way and learn that there are more ways to learn for you. Think out of the box. Yep. Exactly. Right. And that's the beauty of what we're bringing to people with this course, where when you can unravel and unlimit your mind by stepping out of that old school concept or that old factory concept, you start to see that there's so much at the table. But that's step one for really taking a look at the limitations that might be on us from whatever experience we gain from school. But then you've got society, which plays another role, where in the course and as I do in my seminars, unlimiting the mind is, I, I love that terminology, but one aspect with us being able to grow and unlimit ourselves is that we need to be able to think and decide for ourselves. And the struggle is that is that when we're taking in so much information, we could put the news channel on or we could put um, some TV show, whatever it is that might have fear or negativity. And if we're not thinking for ourselves or making decisions for ourselves, we might take that as the truth, which creates a limitation where you could be too fear. You might see like there's so much going on right now with Ukraine and Russia and the whole nine yards. And it's terrible. But if we let that take over our mind, it limit us to where we're fearful to go out and take a step for ourselves. We're fearful to go do this. We're fearful to uh, potentially give and help someone else because, oh, no, what's what's out there? What's out there? And we, we shy away in that aspect. Mm -hmm. so society plays a major role, but also role models, leaders. It's phenomenal to have that. We even did an interview on talking about the importance of having a role model or a mentor or coach. So you have someone that you can follow a roadmap and a plan with, but that all comes back to you being able to decide for yourself. It's personal power. It's growing with that. And if we have all these people uh, that's leading the way, society news, role models, leaders, where do we play a role? And if we don't see how important we are in that to decide and think for ourselves, we follow someone rather than leading our own life. And that's the, that's another factor with, Billy G Life Coaching and everything, we want to help people see how powerful we truly are. Uh, we teach the mind as the universal tool where if you truly grasp it, which we teach in our sessions and seminars, you start to see that, oh my goodness, everything is out there and is available, abundance, whole nine yards, but we can create whatever we seek. But that's a society aspect. We need to be able to decide and think for ourselves. So if we can take a step back and see what beliefs or anything might be there from what society has put on us and then change that we gain strength. And the last one, which I think, Jill, you and I talked about last week in an interview, is how important experience plays a role. Mm -hmm. And with this factory settings aspect, every single experience you've lived, good or bad, has left a mark. Could be an incredible blessing, could be joy, could be happiness, could be pain, could be a trauma piece, could be something that's really hitting you. But in our course and everything we do in our sessions, we want people to get to a place where they can observe that for themselves. They can take a step back and see, okay, this happened to me. Maybe it's a blessing. I love this. This was so incredible. You were able to experience the joy. Gives you a strength to stand on. If it's pain, which happens to every single one of us, can you find the meaning behind it to why you were meant to learn the lesson behind the pain? When someone can adapt their mind to that and see that there's a deeper meaning, it's guiding you in a specific direction, which we do with our clients, your experiences then become your strength. They don't become limitation. But with how powerful our experiences are for us, you start to see any, as a kid, you start to see any little thing plays a factor. And, you know, we give examples in the course and everything like that, which is great. But, you know, just to throw some out there, you got maybe it's a coach. Uh, on the soccer field or the basketball court or the football field and the coach tells you you're a terrible player which you know it doesn't happen too much I hope it doesn't happen too much today back in the day definitely yeah. <laughs> happened on the field a lot but um mm -hmm. it's looking back as funny as that is what that does to a kid's confidence puts a limitation so growing up that limitation is there and it might pop up in different aspects or you look at how a parent might treat their kid that's an experience that could grow you or could limit you. Jill, you give the example last week of 
you do affirmations with your kids in the mirror and it yeah. starts their day in such a beautiful way. It sparks I'm beautiful. Them, you have right? to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It sparks them. That's an experience that they can always hold on to, which will come in handy now and later so they can build on it. But the beauty of us understanding this now, being able to find foundations to stand on, beliefs to stand on, limitations that we can unravel, is that if we're trying to grow this, we can decide at this moment in time, does this still serve me? And if it does, I'll keep using it. But that is this limitation hindering me. Can I make a new decision, create a new belief that I can then stand on, which propels me forward to my progress? And the deeper we go with our clients, the deeper we go in our seminars, we, we're helping audiences do this work in the seats. You start to see people come to those aha moments where, wow, that coach might have said that to me. And that happened when I was seven years old, but I stuck, that stuck with me now. It, and they start to see where the confidence is. Even just coming to that realization grows your confidence. But you decide now, are you still that same person with that limitation? Or can you decide again where, no, I've accomplished so much for myself. I can move forward. I can do this. That becomes your new belief. I call it a factory reset because we're redoing all of our beliefs. We're recreating everything. That creates a foundation in you again, but it's a foundation to stand on. Or, yeah. you know, I like to throw scripture in there. It's a rock to stand on that you can then build with. But that's this whole factory settings concept I wanted to bring on and build with you guys because there's so much going in through the windows of the mind, which is the eyes or even the ears at times, right? So if we can truly decide and think for ourselves, does this serve me or can I leave it? There you're going you're gonna to find there's a lot more you can just leave without giving a reaction to, which helps you move forward into so many great areas. It's incredible. Got it. Wow. All right. So uh, factory reset. Uh, so how do we decide? Yeah. The belief that we have is not serving us. Uh, you know, give us some examples of some beliefs that uh, don't serve us. I would assume yeah. negativity, um, right. you know, the bad, the bad. Right. No, exactly. Like there, it could be anything under the sun for someone specifically. You know, we've had clients come to us where they're struggling with so much anxiety and they just want to move forward without anxiety. And when we dive into it in sessions, it's kind of it, a therapy aspect comes into it, but you find that that anxiety is created from how a dad might have treated them or in the examples we've had someone wants to start take a step for themselves into a new area but the belief the internal belief is am i hurting my family if i go my own path mm -hmm. and that's a generational aspect where back in the day it's like you did what the family did and for a lot of people like in the uh, 50s and 60s that come in through us, it's like it's very tough for them to make that new decision, but it's not making that decision that is now creating your anxiety because you're building off of something you don't want. It's a limiting belief where internally it's like, you know, you're meant for more, yeah. you know, you are, but you have to, you need the confidence to grow it. Why isn't the confidence growing? That internal belief is telling you this has to be the way it doesn't serve you anymore. Not in the world we live in where opportunity is always at your fingertips and your I just call it, it's your soul, your spirit telling you, try this, try this, try this, take a step, take a step, take a step. If we keep saying no, we get anxiety. If we take a step, yes, there's a, there's a fear aspect where it's like, is this going to work? But you grow into something more incredible. And that's the unfoldment process. But it's so, it's so awesome to see it as a coach, but it's so awesome to say that because I did it myself, which helps me now teach my clients it take this step. And, but that's a, that's an example of a limiting belief that anxiety shows up because of it by what someone's parents told them about themselves, where you need to follow the family's way. You need to do this. And in some cultures, yeah, you definitely, that's a factor, but in the new world we live in where opportunity, abundance, prosperity is just at the fingertips and you take a step for yourself, it brings it in. That's the power of everything we move forward. in. you start to see, all right, I can help my family even more by taking this step than following the old ways, right? So that's where the new belief comes in to stand on. I can help my family even more by taking a step for myself. All comes together for someone. Got it, makes sense for sure, wow. And um, you mentioned about this, you gotta be committed to your goals and you gotta create that foundation to stand on. Not mm -hmm. everyone has that foundation, Billy. Yeah. And how do you work with your clients to establish this? Yeah, no, exactly. And so 
one cool thing about our course is it's going to give people the assignments and the time to dedicate to this thought process. But when we're in a session or even in, in an audience and doing a seminar and we call on someone in this concept and we're right there working with them, we help them see one. You ask the question, what do you want life to be like? What do you want? What's a belief that's more in tune to you right now? Say, say a woman in her thirties and she was living off the belief of when she was eight. Does that still serve you? What's something you want to believe now? What's something you believe for yourself? And, you know, at, at our recent seminar, we had a young girl. She was, I believe, 16. She bought a ticket. She showed up for the seminar, which was phenomenal. And we called on her. And it was so awesome to see what she saw for herself. She wants to be an entrepreneur. She wants to grow all these areas. She wants to grow the company. She wants to go to college, graduate, and be able to help so many people. At 16, she wasn't sure how that route is. And I've been in that, that shoe as well, where I just knew I wanted to help people. How? And that was her. And when we called on her, she stood up with the utmost confidence and she gave examples. From that one specific moment, that new experience, that joyous moment, we could say, where she got to stand up for herself. And then the entire me and the entire audience, the, the applause is there, but got behind her. That's a new belief and experience that, yeah, if I take a step for myself, even at 16, people will be there. I will be supported. That creates a new belief. So in our sessions, we try and create just that exact moment where what do you see for yourself? And some people, they come in and they don't, they aren't able to see the greater for themselves. And we dive into that, of course, but some people, they come in with these goals of, I want to be financially free, or I want to find the love of my life or whatever it is. And it always comes back to the internal and the self care and self love aspect. Cause when you grow yourself, it opens the door to everything that's in this universe for us for that matter. But in doing the work, people are like, yeah, you know what? I can achieve this. I can have this. You know what? I do have this because you're taking steps for yourself. And that's, that's in our sessions and a real quick way how we do it, but everyone's different. And that's why I said in the course, we give people the assignments where it's the right questions, ask the right questions to get the right answers, rather than thinking what's limiting me, which you take that question out of the assignment, you go to the next one, what new belief can I create for myself that will always build me, empower me? Just someone listening to this right now on the podcast business news network goes, writes that down. And they sit there and like, you know, what, what belief does empower me? What will empower me to keep moving forward? Your brain, as we've talked in other interviews, starts to give you an answer. It's a supercomputer, but that's using the power of your brain, just like Google. What's the belief that will empower me? And you say it to yourself, you think it to yourself. Your mind connected to God, connected to the universe has to give you an answer. It's just a matter of where you direct it. I think that was our interview on Focus Point. <laughs> Got it. Wow. All right. What else did you want to share? Some examples I know for sure. Yeah, no, I, I love talking to you guys about the client examples because it shows people the impact that's there and something came up yesterday and uh when i was sending you guys over and stuff i wanted to make sure it was there but it's when a client in in a session gets the taste of progress and that's the beauty of it someone invests in themselves like you know what i want this i need this this person can help me build you life coaching or a seminar i'm going to invest this time in this ticket and everything like that um. And then you get the strategies and, you know, we, we like to work with people for three months and every single week we're meeting as well as outside of sessions, there's the support there, but say session five comes along and someone's putting the work in every week. And I see it cause I'm working with them. But when you're the one taking the steps for themselves and you're the one moving forward with it, usually you're the last one to see how much progress you've made. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. that's all of us in the world, but seeing clients at like say session five or six there's a light bulb that goes off and they get a taste of this progress to where they're not just waiting for billy to give them direction they're taking direction and steps themselves outside of session and one of our clients yesterday why i wanted to talk about this he uh, came to session and you know usually i i always start my sense like hey how's the last week gone and some clients oh billy this happened and all this stuff or some so uh, it was all right and so I take that, I run with it with whatever they give me. And this client yesterday, he came in and he was just, 
Bill, you know, I started researching all this different stuff and, and burnout and how I'm feeling that. And, you know, I think that resonates with my anxiety and everything like that. And it was phenomenal. And I, I, I love this client because you see he's, he's caught wind of it. He caught the fire where he's like, I'm not just going to wait for our session time. This is me. I can take every moment and do it. So he started researching on his own. You got a taste of what progress does. You got a taste of what it feels like to, to bring that progress in. And then he just started moving on his own. So then coming back into session with me in the next session catapults it. We have so much more to build on. He gets more direction to move forward with, but that's working together with your coach, working together with what you learn in every single moment to continue to move forward. And that, that's been one of the best experiences. Even this morning, we had um, a woman, uh, one of our clients, she's out in Denver, Colorado. Give her a shout out. She's phenomenal. And um, so she's going to know because she listens to you guys. Um, she comes into session and it's been a whirlwind of a week, absolute whirlwind of a week for her. However, she again caught the taste of progress and she started reading specifically on the topics related to her, more spirituality. She loves that stuff. And um, she picked up this book from one of her favorite pastors and it just started sparking. And she came and said, Billy, all that stuff you talked to me about with balance and alignment and everything, this book says all of that. And I yeah. completely get it now. And it's mm -hmm. not that she didn't in our session, but when someone takes what we talk about in session outside of it and starts to look for themselves and use what we got dive then, into, yeah. the glue comes together and that's sticking forever. That's, that's the best moment as a coach, seeing someone grow. I love it. <laughs> Clearly. I love the energy today. You are so on par. And for those new listeners today, just a little bit about yourself, your training, uh, yep. always important to bring up because people tune in at different times of the show, Billy G Life hey. Coaching. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. What's going on, guys? So I'm Billy G, Billy Jan Lutis. I'm a life coach and a motivational speaker. I'm, I love helping people truly bring the connection between the trifecta, the mind, the body, and the soul with whatever works for you specifically, whether that's a goal on nutrition and fitness, we, we can help you with that and lead it into your other strengths of the mind and the soul. And how I got to this point, you know, I was, it started out in my own experiences and everything, but I got ended up getting trained by Tony Robbins and his team of therapists, which opened a massive door for sure, but also helped me take steps forward after that, as we just described, where you don't just hold it there, you move forward. And I went my own way, started diving into the, the spiritual aspect, the mindset aspect, and connecting it all together. And now bringing that to clients and seeing the change that happens to them, uh, this is the work. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Clearly you do. I love it. I love it. We're all moving forward. Spring is here and we're feeling it and want to move forward and be our best now more than ever. At least I do. Most you is this like the busy season for you as a coach? Um. I guess so in the sense, because people are definitely using this time, this spring, this warmer weather, depending on where you are right now, listening, this warmer weather where, you know what, I want to make a change. And that's phenomenal. So in winter, we do get heights as well, where people, they have the time because they're inside more and they want to make sure they're moving forward with what they're focusing on. Cause I think winter sometimes brings its own aspects with the cold yep. or, mm -hmm. or even seasonal depression at times, True. but to have someone come in, direct you to keep propelling forward regardless of the season uh it's just growth at that point <laughs> got it good to know and also for today uh we still have five minutes left in the show make sure we're covering all bases and everything that you wanted to go over today what else did you want to share yeah so uh, guys another area you can find me on uh, instagram uh at billy jan Lutus, but also youtube once a week with billy g and this past Sunday's message also came directly from the course we're putting together. And we're almost done with this entire course and get it out there for you guys. And one area in this course is you're going to be able to have strategies that you can then build on once you finish up everything. And we're guiding you through how to truly unlimit your mind and empower yourself throughout this course and to truly see how, what a gift you're and a tool your mind is, but also how to use it with manifestation and creating the life that you want to live and truthfully, that's just been such a blast to create this course because when you're creating something, one, because you know you can, but two, you feel it that this is going to help someone. It's incredible. But the final section in that course, which relates to this YouTube once a week with Billy G this past Sunday, is that you will get strategies to take everything that you learn in the course and then continue to use forward to make sure you stay in that balance and stay in that alignment 
propelling forward with your goals. So this past Sunday's video was one of those strategies. And, you know, Jillian, you and I have talked about different approaches, whether someone's coming with spirituality mindset. And this past Sunday's video was actually teaching people what the power of prayer actually is. And, you know, we had Easter last week and everything like that. And, and Greek Easter last weekend, there's right, still lots exactly. of Easter <laughs> happening for everyone. Yeah. Right. Just celebrate that with my family. It's phenomenal. <laughs> I loved it. But this prayer aspect, and I approach this topic with people or clients and everything. We all come from different backgrounds. We all come from different cultures. But when you dive into it at the base of those cultures is love that we're all trying, that's this world that is here for us. There's love and showing to others, but there's also a prayer aspect and that's how you connect. That's how you empower yourself. That's how you grow. So in this once a week with Billy G this past Sunday, guys, you can find it on YouTube is teaching you that aspect, but also how to use it for yourself, some backstory on it, and then allowing you to empower yourself through affirmative prayer. Say you're meditating and you're trying to connect and just kind of clear from the day and all that, the stress and the hectic. you give yourself five minutes. What you're doing with your mind at that point is one, clearing it out, yes, but you're also empowering your spirit to move forward. Bringing the affirmative prayer after that allows you to move forward with power. You already connected yourself. That's what meditation does for us. Bringing the affirmative prayer, which is this YouTube video teaches, allows you to see and wrap your mind. Oh my goodness, this is something I might want to try. Mm -hmm. that's, the, and that's the beauty of it. We, you, you can try it, but to keep it in your back pocket, if you ever need it, that's why I wanted to do this past Sunday's video. What if someone hears this, learns it, and goes, that's going to work for me? Or life throws them a storm. I could try that. And that's the beauty of any strategy that comes across. As a coach, as a speaker, as a person walking through life as, in general, we're all learning different strategies that work for us. Why not try something new? Or let's try something you heard about years ago, and then try it again. <laughs> Make it new right? again, for sure. Yeah, yeah. good. Right. And if we want to work with you, how do we reach out to you? Yeah. So guys, you can find me at billygelifecoaching.com. Uh, you can see everything that I'm about. We're actually revamping the website to give you guys more information, more videos, more content to help you see what coaching is all about. But on that site, you can truly set up a free strategy call with me right there. Click right in, you go right to the calendar and you'll get your time. And we dive into your goals on that call to see if one, what strategies can provide to help, but two, are we the right fit? And if we aren't the right fit, we're going to guide you to it. But that's the beauty of being a coach. We're just trying to help you move in the right direction. Yep. So putting up a free call with people is always an option on the website. You can find me at Instagram, at Billy Jan Lewis. At Billy Jan Lewis, just messed up my own name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, YouTube, once a week with Billy G. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Looking forward to seeing you all Sunday. And then, of course, next week as well. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Reach out to him. And here he is again. Are you looking for even more of the podcast and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you can now listen live on the MyTuner Radio and online Radio Box apps for iOS, Android, and the Amazon App Store. Or check us out online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on onlineradiobox.com slash US so you don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.